Hey everyone, it's Bertrand from the Astro Recruiter video series and with the coronavirus, it's definitely impeding a lot of our social functions, but it's also having an effect on the hiring process. So what I wanted to do is to prepare each of you with three tips, just things that you can prepare for to help you going through the interview process during this pandemic. The first would be to be flexible with having more FaceTime or web-based interviews. And what I mean by that is a lot of clients, especially when it comes to having just more of a competitive speed to market or if schedules have not been able to coordinate for years, they've been utilizing web-based interviews or even Skype to have interviews. And I think that's just going to become more of a trend. And that's something and a change that I'm happy about because it took sometimes weeks for us to, even though we identified the person and they were a perfect fit for the position, to have those face-to-face -face interviews just for schedules to meet and to find a convenient place and time for everybody to meet. But now with it being more web-based, you can have these video interviews from your phone or from your desktop or from your laptop if they have webcams. And that's what I really love about that process as well, is that we can download an app on all of our smartphones and we can have those interviews. So definitely practicing old best practices when it comes to being professional, having you know, a very quiet environment, not something like this with the ducks and the birds in the back, but just you know, being very professional on those interviews is always gonna help, but just be more flexible. Um, sometimes clients have asked for personal numbers or let's say somebody's Apple you know, ID so they can have those interviews and just be more flexible with that and trusting the process and saying, hey, if they're seriously considering me um, as an employee, that I'm gonna go through that process and maybe share that information because it's likely that I'm gonna be hired. So just being very flexible with the process when it comes to having more web-based interviews. The second thing that we can see, and it's already happening, it's been happening for a long time, is for those with more technical skills. Okay, I'm talking about more on the IT side, let's say medical coding side, or something that they would ask you to do inside the office um, during part of that interview process. Let's say you are proficient in access, or you're proficient with um, an encoder, or something like that. A lot of times that they would usually ask you to, to showcase some of your skills, or they would ask you um, a little question or something to do, in front of them, right? But now that is going web-based. So a lot of the, the, the Zooms and the WebExes, you can actually go ahead and share your screen. And if you're working with a hiring manager, you can do that directly utilizing those platforms. Um, there are some specific platforms built out for more IT, let's say developing and coding jobs or medical coding platforms, right? That folks can also share their screens too. But I think that's also gonna be something that's gonna be more prevalent. And as I said, WebEx and I believe also Zoom allows you to just do that from your home. And it doesn't necessarily have to be a special built process. And the third tip and trend I would ask for each of us to do is to just be more flexible with the process. With us battling this pandemic, when you had an on-site interview before, you were able to, let's say, meet seven or eight people at the same time and maybe just have a couple group interviews and a one-on-one -on -one interview with your direct hire manager and then maybe go to lunch, dinner, and then they would send you home. But now, with a lot of things being more web-based, the process is going to be broken up a little bit, meaning you may have multiple or consecutive interviews, maybe not on the same day. So that would also require for each of us to be flexible. It also required the hiring managers and the employers like myself to be more flexible with the requirements. And what I mean by that is like, hey, we want to hire this person by this time. It may take us a little bit longer to do that, right? We may have to go through a couple more steps in the process or we may have to reach out to somebody or get more tech savvy as to how we're exactly identifying these candidates. And that is perfectly okay. And that I think, you know, through all of this is just going to show how we're going to be able to grow and how, you know, the, you know, humans are just really resilient when it comes to a lot of things. So definitely stay safe out there. I hope these tips have been very helpful to all of you. It's Bertrand from the Astro Creative Video Series. Bye-bye.